Okay, pancreatitis is a very serious and very painful and uh, difficult complication for a patient to experience. Basically, pancreatitis is inflammation of the pancreas, obviously, and what can happen is it can actually start to auto-digest itself, meaning that it can actually start to eat itself up. And now if that starts to happen, we can lose pancreatic function, okay? Common causes for pancreatitis are alcohol abuse, gallbladder disease, uh, PUD, obstruction of the ducts, and hyperlipidemia. Now, let's see here. Gallbladder, uh, gallstones, and alcohol abuse are two of the most common causes of this disease. Now, of course, alcohol abuse can lead to chronic um, pancreatitis, which can develop over time and can actually lead to complete loss of pancreatic function. Now, if we lose pancreatic function, that can actually, you know, obviously lead to death. And now gallbladder disease can lead, you know, if we have gallstones, those can actually block the ducts and lead to autodigestion as well of the pancreas. So here's our pancreas. Now, pancreas is an, is an endocrine and an exocrine gland, okay? Now, endocrine means that it's secreting hormones into the bloodstream. Okay, so some of the things that the pancreas does, the pancreas helps with digestion of food. The way that it does that is it has a couple different hormones. It has lipase, amylase, it has um, trypsin, and it has nuclease. So lipase actually helps with the digestion of fats, amylase with carbs, and trypsin helps with protein digestion. And the nucleus helps with nucle uh, um, nucleic acids. The pancreas also secretes insulin and glucagon. Insulin helps to lower blood sugars by allowing blood or sh by allowing blood sugar into the cell. Glucagon actually helps to raise blood sugar. Okay? So you can see very simply, very quickly here, how important the pancreas is. Very small um, organ, but it's incredibly important to the function of the body overall. If we lose function of the pancreas, we uh, lose the ability to digest foods, to regulate blood sugars. It actually helps with sodium bicarbonate as well to maintain acid-base balance. So pancreas is an incredibly important organ, okay? Now, like I said as well, oops. So we have chronic, pancreatitis versus acute pancreatitis. With acute pancreatitis, most of these patients are actually going to uh, recover on their own um, and return to normal function. With chronic, this can be a slow progression and you can return or result in complete loss of pancreatic function, okay? Common cause for chronic pancreatitis is going to be alcohol, okay? If they're an alcohol abuser, they can actually permanently affect pancreatic use and pancreatic function. And what happens, again, like I said, if, if that happens is the pancreas actually starts to kind of eat itself up, okay? It actually starts to auto-digest is what it's called. And once, once it begins to eat itself, it actually loses the, the ability to secrete these hormones um, and it loses basically its function as the pancreas. Okay, so assessment. How are we going to see the patient, okay? Abdominal pain, they're going to have sudden onset. It's going to be mid-epigastric -epi pain and left upper quadrant. They're going to experience nausea and vomiting. They're going to have weight loss. They're going to have abdominal tenderness. We're going to see an increase in white blood cells, bilirubin, ALP, increase in amylase and lipase. Another common sign that you're going to see here, and these are, these are two signs that you're going to see that are going to let you know that this is pancreatitis. It's going to be Coolin sign which is bruising and edema around the umbilicus, so right around here, and then Turner sign. And Turner sign is going to be flank bruising, okay, so like along.